Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and this is the third part of the reagent chemistry and in this video I will be talking about a very common and well known reagent which is nothing but the hydrogen peroxide H2O2. So our today's reagent is very simple H2O2 and I will discuss two very important reactions of H2O2 which you must know uh, if you are preparing for any competitive exams or in general for your organic chemistry knowledge and the reactions are basically the oxidation of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds in presence of H2O2 NaOH and another is this one so aromatic aldehyde or ketone which will have either the OH group at the para position or at the ortho position and their oxidation H2O2 NaOH so these two oxidations are very important reactions for uh, the H2O2 the hydrogen peroxide and the first one is the epoxidation reaction and second one is a name reaction which is called the Dakin reaction so first I will briefly discuss about the first reaction and you know that it will be converted to this epoxide what is the mechanism the mechanism is very simple uh, in NaOH solution the H2O2 is converted to HO2 minus so this HO2 minus it is a nucleophile and this is a electrophilic center so it will attack here like this out of that what you will get so you will get something like this O minus and here you will have O OH now when this minus come back it will attack here this OH will go and you will get this so for electron rich alkene we use metachloroparbenzoic acid for epoxidation which is the electrophilic epoxidation and I have made a video on metachloroparbenzoic acid you can watch it and when you have electron deficient uh, double bond for example here the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds then we have to use a reagent which is a nucleophile so H2 H2 or uh, sorry HO2 minus is a nucleophile so this is the nucleophilic epoxidation now let us discuss about the second example or which is called the Dakin reaction I never discussed this reaction in my channel so I will discuss the detailed mechanism of this reaction so again uh, the HO2 minus which is a nucleophile that will basically attack on this carbonyl group so what you will get you will get a intermediate like this O minus here O OH here you have R right now uh, in basic medium this can also be deprotonated or it can be protonated it is dependent on the base concentration for the sake of simplicity we just represent it by O minus because it is in basic medium now you can see if this O minus push back either this R group or this aromatic group one of them can migrate and this OH can leave and you can see due to the presence of this O minus which can push its electron density into this ring the migrating aptitude of this particular phenyl ring or this aromatic ring increases and that's why this aromatic ring will migrate and you will have this so here you have O minus and here basically what you will have so basically you will have a case like this right so you will have a case like this so this basically remembered you the case of the bioviligar oxidation or something like that so it is the same thing like bioviligar oxidation you can see in bioviligar oxidation also this type of reaction occurs right so the mechanism is quite similar now when this O minus push back so what will happen this will go here this will go here and you will get this so here you have O minus here you have O C O R 
and finally in basic medium what can happen this ester can be hydrolyzed so this is basically two step this ester can be hydrolyzed to give you this diol now if you try this mechanism if you have this oxygen atom over here also then you will get this product which which so in both case you will get diol in meta case the reaction is not that much favorable because you can see this electron push will not be there so when you have oxygen at ortho or para position this reaction can happen and it is called the Dakin reaction so these are the two important reactions of uh, H2O2 the hydrogen peroxide so, there are several other reagents for example there is a reagent called Fenton's reagent which is uh, some iron cation and H2O2 I will discuss about Fenton reagent in some other video but these are the two important reactions of H2O2 I hope that this video will help you in the preparation of your competitive exams so if you like this video then give a thumbs up and subscribe this channel for getting more videos like that thank you for watching